If you're a Silva Method practitioner, perhaps you've asked the question, especially when you're first starting out, how do I know I'm an alpha and or theta? Or if you're a meditator, when you first started out, did you find yourself wondering, have I created this new state of being? Am I, am I really there? Hi, my name is Ken Kasha, and I serve as the International Training Director for The Silver Method. I've been doing this work for 49 years all over the world with hundreds of thousands of people since 1971. And I gotta tell you, it's my joy, it's my pleasure, and I've heard this question repeatedly, especially from beginners. And that's our topic. In this short video, we'd like to give you a tip. That's really the wrong question. It's not about being an alpha or theta. It's about what? Why would you invest your time, energy, and money to take a training such as the Silver Method or whatever the training might be or a meditation program because you want to be in the alpha state or because you what? You want results. Now, I don't mean to be disrespectful or, or minimize it because it is a, it's an important question. It is. It's an important concern. Why I'm putting it this way to you is because as long as you ask that question, guess what? You're activating critical thinking. And the whole idea of meditation is to quiet critical thinking, to quiet the monkey mind inside to quiet what some in psychology have called the dictator within. The whole purpose of the Silver Method is we teach you how to access the alpha and theta brainwave states, typical to being in sleep, but being awake, which is what very similar to meditation is about. What you're literally doing is expanding your consciousness, moving from a state of conscious awareness, typified by objective thinking, five senses, critical thinking, logic, reasoning. When we are in a meditative state, this new state of being, this flow state, or as we in silver call our level, alpha and theta state, we are detaching from that. We are separating from that. We are expanding our thoughts consciously into the so-called subconscious, what we like to call the inner conscious states. And if you bring any logic, any reasoning, any critical thinking, guess what? You're out. You'll literally bring yourself right out. And it, that's why it really takes practice. It's an art. It is a work of art to be able to do that. The benefit being is we know who we are has been greatly influenced by what? All the files upon files, the programming, if you will, the conditioned habits, if you will, deep in our subconscious. So the key to personal development, high performance, to evolving to being a better, happier, more vibrant human being, let alone being more successful, is to remove the obstacles, to remove those or delete or create new patterns of behavior, new neural patterns, if you will. And the surest, most effective way is to allow yourself to attune to a dimension of thought, a subjective mode of consciousness. So my friends, whatever it is you're practicing, it takes sometimes just letting go and surrendering to the process. For example, when I started in 1971 in Brooklyn, New York, I had such a difficult time. I believed it was possible, but I didn't want believe in me. I was so critical. Am I deep enough? Am I doing it right? Will I be the first failure? And I was so into my head worrying, which created what? Anxiety, <laughs> which is just the opposite of what you want. And this went on for some time until the instructor, because this was in a live in-person event, and the instructor was there to guide me and he said, Ken, just here's a tip for you. And he gave me what he called the bonus tip. He had the technique. We've tested it, we've researched it, we know it works. So when you do it, just tell yourself, Use the technique, we call it the three to one method, and tell yourself, bingo, I'm at my level, whatever that means. Really? Well, I gotta tell you, when I started doing that, 
Then I started enjoying profound states of relaxation and calm like never before. I had more energy. I was sleeping better at night. In fact, months later, I'm back to school. I went from flunking out of college with a D, D minus average to graduating the highest honors by applying these tools. So what he taught me was what? How to surrender to the process. And I can tell you, over the years, in our early days, in the 60s, 70s, we did a ton of biofeedback studies that basically demonstrated that when people use this technique we teach in the Silver Method, whether it was the basic lecture series, now we call it Life and Intuition System, it works. The biggest obstacle can be ourselves, yourself, and your own self-doubt. So my friends, the key then is have a little bit of trust, have a little bit of faith. If others can have done it, so can you. Focus on the results. And what's very important is that evaluate, make a note of how you feel before, how you sleep, how your life is, how you move through the day and the challenges of the day. And then as you apply the principles and you're enjoying your meditation, 5, 10, 15 minutes, as you're enjoying your silver method exercise, how do you feel after? Do you have a little, even a little bit more energy? If you're a little bit calmer, that's a good sign. You've made progress. I really appreciate Napoleon Hill's definition of success, the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So if you're making even a little bit of progress, a baby step, whoa, it's better than nothing. Appreciate it, feel good about it, trust it, and the next thing you know, you'll be making more steps and more progress and more progress, and the next thing you know, you'll have a giant state of progress. But it begins with those simple steps. So I sincerely hope you find this helpful. And if you do, and you can think of others who could use a little bit of confidence, a little bit of these simple tips, please share it with them. And if you'd like to get more from me, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just hit the subscribe button or follow me on Facebook. Or better yet, go to my website, Silver Method of Connecticut. That's Silver Method CT. And I'd be thrilled to send you our newsletters. I've got a video blog with training just like this. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate you taking your valuable time.